Hello, this is Chuck Dignan from Static Clean International. I'm just going to do a quick uh, demo video for the Shishido Stat Iron DP, which is a great handheld charge plate monitor. This is a really nice, very compact piece of equipment. Cool features include the head can be angled uh, for ease of viewing, depending upon if you're kind of reaching in one of those awkward places where you might have to take a measurement once in a while. Uh, so that's pretty handy. We do use this meter uh, all the time, we do a lot of service work for customers and our technicians will use this meter to check the condition of an ionizer before we touch it and see if it's working. And then after we service and clean, replace filters and such, we can check it again with the meter to make sure that we're back in spec. Uh, so it's a nice little tool. So you turn the meter on uh, and normally I would have a wrist strap on, but I'm in the conference room and so I don't have that available to me. But you, you, normally you would, to get really accurate readings, you would have a wrist strap on so your body is grounded. And then you would zero the meter so you got a good starting point. You know you have a good zero for your ground reference. Um, it's got a couple of modes. You'll notice that when you, when you start up, it comes down to uh, IB, which is for ion balance. What that does is that's going to float the plate. Um, I'm just going to re-zero re that. It's going to float the plate. And in the case of uh, here, I'm turning an ionizer on, and hopefully you can see the numbers on the screen. I'm about six inches in front of the blower. And this uh, blower right now is toggling between about a plus five to a plus nine volts, which is very good balance for, uh, this is a, a really nice little ionizer that we have right here. So that you can check the uh, ion balance. So next you would choose the select button and now we're going over to where we're going to check the K rates. And this is per the EOS ESD uh, test method where we have a timer involved. So I'm going to apply a positive charge. I'm kind of out of the influence of the blower. So I'm just going to show you up close. I push the start button and you can see I have about a positive 1800 volts of uh, charge on the plate that's now floating. I'm a little, getting a little bit of air off the ionizer. What will happen is the timer, when I expose it to the blower and start knocking the charge down, the timer will start to count when I get to 1,000 volts, and then it'll stop counting when I get to 0 0.1 thousand volts or 100 volts per the ES, EOS ESD standard. So I'm gonna bring that down. I'm about six inches in front of the blower. So just to get a better result, I'm gonna press the start button in front of the ionizer, charge it up, and you can see there that it knocked that charge down in 0.8 seconds. And I do it again. Okay, 0.8 seconds. So that means that um, I was able to neutralize a positive charge in 0.8 seconds, which means my negative ion output is quite good. Now I can select for a negative decay, and similarly, you'll see we have about a negative 1800 volts on the meter. So I'm just gonna bring it down and kind of let the meter settle, and we'll do a test with it in position. So I push the button, charge up, uh, 0 0.8 seconds. I'll do it again and 0 0.8 seconds again. So it's just a, a neat little tool, um, super handy, super compact. Um, I think you really like it. Thank you.